The most important and interesting part of the Marvelous Designer is Avatar Editor. If you click on the Avatar, we have an interesting Avatar Editor here. So it tells you, please load the Avatar. Yeah, we have to go into the Avatar, female, male, for example, going to the male. And as you can see, if you double click, you can insert this male Avatar here. And click in here to make it full 3D. And as you can see in this <coughs> folder, we have size folder. You can make it smaller. As you can see, if you click and drag, we have different avatar sizes here that are um, preset. And this is our default. Yeah. This is a hands-on one. But if you measure a real person in a real world and you want to insert it in an avatar, so it's the most important thing. We need that avatar editor. Select it and this is the avatar editor window. It's interesting. So I bring it there. Bring avatar here. Maximize it. Yeah, you can click and drag. Nice. As you can see, in avatar editor, we have three tab avatar size that you can insert your uh, size here. Measurement, if you have any measurement that I explained it before, it's appear here. Let's try that a little. So for measurements, you have to, uh, what was that? Measurements, garment, no avatar, for example, the height. I explained it before. We have a lot of measurement here, and you can uh, cancel it. Then we can we can go to the avatar avatar editor, and as you can see in the measurement tab, we have all our measurement here that you can change its settings, and then you can delete it from uh, keyboard. And here our arrangement point that I explained it before. And when you click them, you can change it. I explained them before there was in the properties also there. But in this lesson, we want to talk about avatar size. <clears throat> okay, as you can see, first look at here in the detail. Uh, we have three type of avatar size. Basic, as you can see, we have a small boxes to insert our as you can see, if you click on these boxes, it's highlighted in a 3D and means you can insert your number from your world here. But pay attention here. This is a basic one. You can change it to the advanced human body and maximize it again. And as you can see, we have a lot some more sitting. And the thing that you want is advanced dress form. The rest form means all of the things that you need for creating real dress, you can insert it here. We have a lot of boxes and measurement to insert. <clears throat> and as you can see here, you can change the uh, millimeter, centimeter, or inch in sizes. So, for example, you measure someone and you want to insert it. Don't think about the names, just click them. With a scroll mouse, you can, uh, sorry for that. For a scroll, scrolling mouse, you can just select it. And as you can see, it's highlighted in a 3D and you can see, okay, it's there if you click it. You can type a specific number or your bit a scroll mouse, or you can use this number here. So I want to tell you an important strategy for inserting your measurement in this avatar. Okay, now as we can see in uh, <clears throat> these boxes, we have three types of the measurement. The circumference measurement, height measurement, line measurement. For example, this, these are circumference. These are circumference measurement, as we can see. These are height measurement. The tail will tell you it's height. And these are line. So for, for example, across shoulder, click on it, click. It's there. Yeah, as you can see, it's a line. 
The best strategy for inserting your measurement is first, first, you have to insert your height. For example, main height is a total height from this above. We have <clears throat> three type of the height. Total height, if you select it here, if you select it here, it's the height from top to the bottom of the body. Yeah. If you select it from hips, the height from hips from here, to the down. Another, the seam in seams from here to the down. Nice. You can change them. So you can change your strategy here. For example, we don't need to, to from top to the bottom. I think the hips height is nice for this strategy. So first you insert your height you cannot change it because you change it there change height insert your height insert your height then insert your line select it and insert any line for example this shoulder is important select it if it's a highlight you can you can click on it you can click on it you can click on it so second line and then the last measurement that you have to insert all of circumference in this way you can approach your exact and accurate size because if you insert your measurement from above to the top you cannot you approach a very bad avatar size that you cannot approach your goal so do not change for example you have a sheet of all of your sizes and you uh, bring it and enter any size that you measure no it's not correct you have you have not do this because it's bad first height then lines you can see in a 3d and the last thing that you have to insert is the circumference don't forget that in this way you can uh, approach the best results but it's not very accurate i don't know why they have to make it more powerful but it's nice it's okay you can uh, simulate your body size your real person with this avatar and swing uh, best pattern and clauses for that so this is an avatar size don't just you can click on them and see what is for example calf ankle or anything in 3d and your size so first uh first uh, and the first thing do not change after you insert your size don't change them to the another detail because everything is messed up first first if you want to a simple basic for example for animation you can use the basic if you want to insert exact size of your avatar human body but if you want to uh measurement for the rest form first select your strategy in a detail and then don't change them and then insert your measurement okay in this case you can approach your goal with avatar editor nice and this is a chest circumference this is a main body out there nice hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release